four nuns from Kerala's Kottayam staged a walkout during a prayer service accusing the priest of delivering hate speech against Muslims. Addressing the media later, the nuns accused the priest of delivering that hate speech during a prayer service at a chapel inside the St. Francis Mission Home. They alleged the priest asked those attending the prayer service to boycott business enterprises that were run by Muslims. And uh, they say the priest was, has been guilty of hate speeches on earlier occasions as well. They've also said they were against the statement of Bishop Joseph Kalarangat, the Pala Bishop on Love Jihad and Narcotics Jihad. Uh, he had said they were used for conversion and being used where arms cannot be used. So a big flashpoint between nuns and a priest in Kerala's Kotayam over uh, what is being described as hate speech. Well, joining us for more on that is uh, Shaiju Antony, convener of uh, the Archdiocesan Movement for Transparency. We are also being joined by Brother Joseph Dias, founder of the Catholic Secular Forum, and Sister Jesmi, writer and former uh, none. But let me begin with uh, Shaiju Antony. You know, your first thoughts uh, about uh, nuns staging a walkout right in the middle of a prayer service, speaking up against what they felt was hate speech. See, in fact, I was talking to that nun. So actually what has happened, I was just asking uh, that nuns. The nuns were saying that from the speech, from the initial, the, from the beginning of the speech itself, this uh, uh, priest was uh, uh, completely delivering anti-Muslim speech. And finally, he went to an extent of saying that you should not go to any shops of a Muslim. You should not travel in an auto rota where the Muslim is driving. You should not uh, uh, eat any Muslim foods like that. So it was going, it was going beyond the uh, expectation of any Christian. And that is the reason at that point of time, one of the nuns stood up and said that, uh, Father, uh, priest, kindly stop these type of uh, speeches in, uh, in between the mass. Kindly stop it. So that was the situation. Right. So see, uh, when jo Bishop Joseph Kalaragat has come out with a uh, statement of uh, narcotic jihad, it has gone to a, an extent were a deep-rooted extent where the priests and the believers all are taking it into their hearts, saying, believing that right. this is a war, this is a war-like situation. So well, it is. Uh, it's interesting that you make that point. Let me also take this across to Sister Jesme, writer and former nun, who's with us on the phone line. Sister Jesme, the point that's being made is. This seems to have really all come up post uh, the Pala Bishop's comments about narcotics jihad and love jihad and, you know, those comments being taken seriously and taken up perhaps by other priests as well. In your opinion, you know, what kind of trend does this show? Is this something that, you know, has happened in the Catholic Church before? Talk about love jihad, narcotics jihad, the way in which, uh, you know, obviously it's going to be politicized now also. Uh, narcotism is uh, not uh, limited to any religion. Uh, uh, terrorism is in all religions. Uh, maybe uh, in a direct way, direct terrorism or uh, underhand, indirect terrorism. So there are uh, bad people, evil people, terrorists in all religions, uh, irrespective of uh, religion or caste or creed. Uh, so uh, when this bishop uh, of Pala is raising this term, terminology, narcotic jihad, I have serious doubts whether he is playing a political trick uh, uh, at the present moment because um, now there are many problems against the Christian church, especially the cardinal with the uh, land sale case, then there is Bishop Frango case. Uh, many cases are there which will be dealt with uh, even in the Supreme Court so maybe he is trying to please Modi and his party so that these people can escape from the cases leveled against them. I, this is my uh, All right, that's a, that's a serious a allegation you're making, it. Sister Jesme. Uh, you're saying that, you know, there's some political advantage to be had for making statements like this. Um, Brother Joseph, 
Diaz of the Catholic Secular Forum is also with us. Your thoughts, um, Brother Joseph Diaz, on uh, you know this latest controversy, nuns actually walking out of a prayer service, going on to talk about how they are completely against uh, you know hate speech by priests and indeed by the Bishop of Pala, uh, who talked about uh, um, narcotics jihad. Uh, your thoughts, you know, when has this ever been a feature of the Catholic Church in the past? Well, it has, it has always been the, a feature of the Catholic Church that whenever anything concerns public good, mm -hmm. the, the community speaks out and the leadership of the community, as, uh, as we have seen in, in the case of the bishop, he is referred to terrorists very clearly. He is not referred to Muslims in, in India or Indian Muslims. But then, but then you have a priest taking up those comments and saying boycott all Muslim enterprises. Yes, so that is, is that, is, in your opinion, is that a message that is, uh, you know, uh, does, does it does, do Christian teachings support that kind of a message? No, definitely it does not, and definitely it's condemnable. There's no doubt about that. If he said, indeed, as is being reported, that you know, don't buy stuff from uh, from Muslim uh, vendors or maybe even uh, travel in auto rickshaws that uh, that you know, have Muslim owners or drivers. I think that is uh, is taking it too far and the bishop should act against such a priest. There's no two doubts, two, 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 there's no doubt about that. But what is uh, very suspicious is how come Sister Jasmi and the same nuns who protested uh, against the rape accused, uh, Bishop uh, Franco Mulakal, how come they are the ones who are raising these issues? Because nuns are normally not known to be, uh, you know, raising issues that are uh, controversial. They are, they are generally expected to be people of prayer. And uh, that is what is perhaps uh, surprising. Okay, so Sister Jasmi, uh, would you like to address uh, that particular point? Uh, the prayer or spirituality, it's all related with the love and uh, respect for other religions all treating all human beings as one and the same. So how can a priest and a bishop during the mass or at the altar, if not at the mass or some religious services at the altar, uh, why do they uh, give such nonsensical messages to the people, the believers? And do you expect every believer to listen to it, uh, uh, keep calm and then go away and obey that? That was happening earlier. That's why these people are daring to do it. I went to, for a mass at Angamali uh, uh, Church early morning at 5.30 with a clear and pure heart to attend a mass. Then the priest began a homily uh, speaking against Jomon Tutamurekel and his uh, evils and all. I felt so bad. I was uh, expecting a very pious, to okay, fair to enough, Sister Jasmi. I think the question that was asked to you was, uh, you know, you and the nuns earlier spoke out about Bishop, Bishop Franco Mulakal as well, and now you've spoken out about this as well. And, uh, you know, the question seems to be, you know, why is the same group speaking out again and again? And what is your response to that specific chart? Yeah, about Bishop Franco That question is a nonsense question, yes. Yeah. No, also, also, as far as the sisters are concerned, uh, they could have taken up this matter with the local bishop. They could have taken it up with the priests. Why go to the media and why make such a halabaloo of the whole thing? Okay, Shaija Antony, you have a point to make. Go ahead. Yeah, this question itself is a very uh, funny question. I don't know why uh, Brother Joseph is as asking like that. See, the, there will be certain sisters who can question this, who has the courage to question these type of evils in the church. This is an evil statement. Do you, don't you agree with that? You have already agreed that this is an evil statement. So when an evil statement comes in, if somebody hears it, if there is a person who has the courage, he will definitely ask, uh, ask for that, definitely uh, oppose that. Yes. See, here that uh, sisters were there, uh, definitely they will oppose. That is the reason. See, you don't uh, link all these things together. And uh, you have made a very false statement that uh, Bishop was not uh, may mentioning about any uh, Muslims in India or something like that. I think you have not heard the Bishop's speech completely. It is there in the YouTube. 
you just go and hear that bishop was clearly telling about the uh, the muslims in kerala he was very clear addressing that the bishop that. was referring the bishop was referring to the media reports that appeared regarding the muslims in kerala at the same time he he mentioned the 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 two the two girls who went to afghanistan terror camps and uh, as far as the drug addiction is concerned by these terrorists what happens is very clear uh, from punjab in punjab we have seen that uh, narcotics and drugs come in from pakistan come in from afghanistan and they are used to right. to to, okay. to spoil the entire youth Bra generation brother brother Quick. brother jo brother joseph you think about all the events together please understand all the events together okay he was mentioning about the narcotics jihad mm -hmm. and he was very clearly uh, exhorting all the what he called uh, all the all his devotees saying that this is a situation of weaponless war like that he was exhorting and that he was saying that, that, that is precisely what has happened that is precisely what has happened in punjab non muslims no that this is, is precisely what has happened in punjab clear the, the statement is very clear and what has happened immediately after that immediately after that all the bjp people all the rss people came into the social media across kerala across all over the world and into the streets also to protect the bishop they were saying that we will protect the bishop so you consider all those things and you should understand one thing see this uh, bjp and rss people were, uh, were rallying a protest in front of the bishop house they went into the what you call in uh, up to the level of saying that uh, for a few days they have been making some protection right for the pala bishop house rss is giving protection to okay. the pala bishop okay house. okay we're taking all your Making points on board chaiju antony so and you know obviously this is not something that <laughs> uh you know is 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 going to be resolved in 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 one debate we've taken both your views on board and sister jasmine's as well we'll have to leave it here at the moment i'm i'm completely out of time but thank you for joining us with uh, your thoughts on this uh